I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking. I'm not ready. All right, three, three, two, two one, one, go. go. Brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we're taking on the Polar Plunge Frozen Challenge, where uh, we'll be answering questions about the movies Frozen and Frozen 2, and for every question we get wrong, we'll have to spend 10 seconds longer in an ice bath polar plunge tank we have up on the roof. I am so excited about it. No one in the office has been happy that I have uh, that I wanted to, to do this. Yeah, you came up with this idea, <laughs> and then everyone was just sort of on board, and was like, oh, all right, well... I guess we're doing it. Yeah, yeah. I rolled up yesterday. I was like, guys, I got a couple of bathtubs down here. I need some help carrying them up the stairs. And now they're on our roof. And they've been getting nice and chilly all night. It's going to be a blast. Hopefully, probably. Unless we're just not frozen really well. In which case, we don't even have to get cold today. Let's do it. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the microphone. You can't see her, but she is in fact waving just very excitedly <laughs> because today we have 10 standard quiz questions plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. And for every question we get wrong, like we said, we will add 10 seconds to the punishment clock. That'll be 10 seconds longer. We have to plunge ourselves into a freezing ice bath that we have let chill overnight. Where did it, it has been raining all night. It has been raining. It's it currently like, raining. It looks it is presently raining. <laughs> like walking into the office this morning, I was wearing like my big winter jacket and I was like, I am uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. And I am intentionally going to go up there <laughs> in nothing but my pink under britches slash, no. not really. they're not under britches. Oh. I was about to say. They are pink. <laughs> they are pink. Mine are pink too. Are right. they really? Yeah. Did you? We both. Did y'all plan that? Maybe I don't know. I just uh, in some swim trunks. Unplanned. <laughs> All right. Unplanned. Unplanned matching trunks. It's gonna be fantastic. Uh, the way the quiz works is that Ben and I have to answer all the questions completely from memory. But if we don't know, then we can get the multiple choice. Uh, I feel like maybe we should have a limit on the number of times though, because otherwise it makes like the punishment a little more, you know. So maybe accessible. maybe twice. Maybe maybe two times Ooh. we can ask for multiple choice. New this rule. Quiz. Just just for this quiz. Or yeah. maybe for future quizzes as well. Maybe. Also, if you have any other punishments that you think that we should introduce into the J versus Ben format, be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. Let's go. Jay, are you ready and super psyched? I'm so super psyched. Uh, it's gonna be, I, I mean, you have done a polar plunge like challenge, very much like what we're doing on the roof for your vlog once upon a time. It's true. And so I know you have some experience with it. Um, I have not done a lot of like cold water immersion uh, in in a while. Like some people are gonna be like, this isn't even punishment. This is like just uh, good like, for you. It's just good for you. Let me tell you what, even if it's good for you, I have a feeling this is gonna be terrible. It's it's the thing is you have to like build your body up. You have to acclimate right. to the environment. You have to get used to it, which neither of us currently nope. are at all. And I will say that when I was doing my backyard plunge last year, there was one day where it got really cold outside. I got in and lasted like 13 seconds. And right now we have like questions where every question we miss, it's an extra 10 seconds. So yeah. worst case scenario, it's like two minutes and 30 seconds that we have to spend in there. If we don't get a single question right. But that's no, never happened to date. No. So I think, you know, we're gonna, let's just go. Question one. Question one. What does Christoph do for a living? Oh, oh. okay, okay. I like this one. You know, very like, relatable. You know, I, I like know to start off easy. It's an aspiration that many have, I believe. <laughs> you know, it's like sure. everybody has this deep relationship with this particular product, of course, and they all wish that they could just do more of it. Right, exactly. Uh, so anyway. Yeah, you three, ready? Three, two, one. Harvest ice. He harvests ice. He sells ice, but I'll take harvest ice. He does, yeah. yeah, we see him harvest ice. I know, but yeah. he specifically says, you want to talk about a, a, a whatever supply and, demand. A supply and demand problem? I sell ice for a living. Okay, yeah. well that's fair, yeah. but I mean, I the think harvest ice is fine too because we see him do it. Yep, I'll good, take that. That's a good point. Okay. Good point. I, I guess to be fair, most farmers probably don't directly <laughs> sell their products to the end consumer. They, no, I think. Oh, well, they still sell them. Though. They do sell them. Yeah, yeah, but they also harvest them. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so question two: <clears throat> Finish the line from Olaf. Oh, look at that! I've been. Ah, yes. This is one of my absolute favorite moments. I remember watching Frozen yeah. for the first time and just being like, they have just nailed it. <laughs> they yeah, really he's did. Great. He's, just, like, he's so good. He's yeah. so good. He could have been and really he annoying, but he's in not. the second. 
He doesn't show up for like 40 minutes. Yeah, too. he's just like deep into the movie. He is. Yeah. 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 Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Impaled. Impaled. Impaled yeah. is correct. All right, so far we've dodged all coldness. No, no seconds at all whatsoever. We're well, good. you know, we like to start them off easy. It's okay. Yeah. It's increasingly why, why harder. Why don't you say that, Kat? <laughs> say that. Don't say, say that. that. You don't know this that. is how this works. Uh, there we go. <laughs> all right, and now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. Yeah. This question was submitted by Birch. Birch. Birch, like the tree. What is the name of the trading post where Anna and Kristoff meet? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh, man. I don't know. This is like... We need the, the main name is what we're looking for. The main name? Not the... I know the... The et cetera. Et cetera, actually. You can put the et cetera if you want. Um, oh, dear. I thought that I knew. Now you guys are making me worry. Oh man. I didn't think this one was that hard. I think this is it. I don't know. Oh boy. I'm getting it uh, wrong. This uh, is it. Okay. Three, okay. two, one. I just have Oaken's trading post and sauna. It is wandering Oaken's trading oh, post. No. Oh, no. I also had Oaken's and Sana. Wandering um, Oakens. Man, I, I literally, the thought went through my mind and I was like, Wandering Oaks? And I'm like, no, his name's Oakens. Oak, yeah. It can't yeah. be Wandering, wandering Oaks. Wandering Oakens. Plus, how can an oak wander? Does that mean we're, we have 10 seconds on the board? Yeah, 10 I'm, seconds on the board. Yeah, I'm wow. adding it to my notes yeah. on here. Uh, Great. Uh, <clears throat> all righty. Okay. I, I got a little like chilly. Yeah, I go, <laughs> oh, like, no. The room, I, my, I feel like the mood just here's lowered. Because here's bit. the thing. I have a feeling once you've been in it for 10 seconds, it's like, you, you know, you've done most of the suffering. That's true. You know what That's I mean? That's true. So like, like the hard part's over. Exactly. We've already paid for the hard part. Paid for the hard part. We always know what's gonna happen. Maybe, this is what I'm telling myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who knows? Maybe the whole time's gonna be agony. It could be. All it right, be. let's go, next question. Okay, question number four. During which season does Frozen 2 primarily take place? Frozen 2? Frozen 2. Oh. Boom. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Fall, fall, fall. Winter's a good time to stay in and cuddle, but fall. <laughs> Has really all of the beautiful leaves and the best hikes and like the best drinks. It's true. Um, you know, the weather's not too hot or too cold. It's really the best season. It is. Fall the best is, season. you know, yeah. but like when I was a kid growing up, I never liked fall because fall meant going back to school. Yeah. But when now, you're a kid, summer and winter are the best because there's the extreme chance of not going to school. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty much what, uh, like, uh, my enjoyment of seasons is directly related to how much it means my obligations are involved. Exactly. What does that say? <laughs> what does that say about school? That every kid's favorite summer season is summer because no school. Because no school. No one's excited about learning, Ben. But that's the thing is that learning is actually so much fun. Exactly. And yet, and everyone yet, prefers how, summer. How, how have we made it not fun? How for have we people? done this? Homework. Homework. I agree. I was going to say the, the exact same thing. Homework. School's Cat, not what that would you bad have said? without homework. Homework? Homework. Homework. Yeah. I, I knew she was going to say the same thing and as I love us. homework. Ixnay I did usually homework, get my homework hey. done like during study hall, though. Let's just call it schoolwork, which yeah. is what you're there to do anyway. We set yeah. up all governing bodies who make it, these rules. Probably watching <laughs> right now. Homework? Probably. <laughs> Question number five. Whose act of true love saves Anna from being frozen forever at the end of Frozen 1? This feels like a true question. Whose act of true love saves Anna? This feels like debatable. Uh, It's- No, not debatable. I think it feels like a trick question is what it feels like. Like, whose act of true love saves Anna? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going over this. this. Three, two, one. So her own. Anna's. Her, her own. Yeah. Yes, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to be like, because. I watched the scene a few times just to make sure that it was clear that it was Anna's sacrifice yeah, that like saved not, her. And it not is. Elsa they say her it, or something. Yeah, they say it specifically like, you sacrificed yourself for me. Yeah, we exactly we so. call it True Love's Hug. Yeah. I think we made a video <laughs> yeah, about exactly. True, Love's, True hug. Love's Hug. Yeah. All right, and now it's time for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Mary Maldum Sanders. Which Disney princess came to visit for Elsa's coronation? Mm hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Got it. No problem. Ready? 
One, two, three. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, <laughs> indubitably. Mm -hmm. Indubitably. You can see uh, her and Mr. Easter. Flynn Rider walking yeah. into the castle. That's right. I believe his name is Eugene. Eugene. Excuse me, Eugene Fitzherbert. Question number seven. What does Olaf name the wind spirit? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Got it. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Gale. 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 How do you spell Gale? It's just G-A-L-E, but Boom. I'll give yeah. it to you. So Ben's got 10 more seconds. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. But speaking of 10 seconds, I could probably use a few seconds. No. Just, you know, what? Just, I mean, I got some stuff that I need to go work on, but I'll be right back. Well, with things. We're like in the middle of a, it's okay. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic route where as you guessed it, that is the ice bath. And it's about to get a little bit worse. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet icy. And now you might be thinking, Ben, it's already freezing outside and the tanks have been exposed to the elements for like a couple of days now. It is perfectly and sufficiently frosty. Why add additional ice? And the answer is because I have a secret weapon. The one, the only, the first of its kind, warm hugs, Super Carlin Brothers. Carlin Brothers coffee candle. Check this out, trust me. I guess that's not totally true. There is another point, and that is that the Warm Hugs candle is the very first of our royal candle line. That's right, this holiday-inspired candle wraps you further into your warm blanket with scents of fresh cinnamon buns and delectable gingerbread cookies. This candle is available right now, and as ever with the Carlin Brothers candles, comes with its own unique and limited edition charm. However, beyond that, throughout the year of 2023, every single month, we will have a new candle introduced into our royal candle line and you can get it with a subscription over at carlinmotherscoffee.com. Now while the warm hugs candle is not an official part of the royal candle line it is the first taste as to what's to come for the next year. We have had so much fun putting together all of the right scents with all of the right designs so that each month you can get a really cool new candle with a brand new scent and its own unique charm. Warm hugs is officially available right now over at carlinbrotherscoffee.com and the royal candle line will officially launch on January 1st, 2023. Be sure to set a reminder, they will go quick. Link is at carlinbrotherscoffee.com and in the description down below. Two words, guys, holiday shopping season. Depending on who you are, it can be fun, exciting, or just plain time consuming and stressful. Personally, I love gift giving, but that might just be because I do so much of my shopping online these days, which to me makes it feel a lot easier. Of course, the problem typically is that when you're shopping online, rarely do you just have a coupon code ready and available to make things cheaper until now. Because today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey, the easy way to save money while shopping on your phone or on your computer. It's awesome. It is literally a free shopping tool you just install and then it scours the internet for coupon codes for whatever site you're on and then applies all the ones it finds and just gives you the best one. It is legit come through for me so many times. Like while shopping for my kids this holiday season, it got me 30% off one of our bigger purchases, which translated to $45. And I didn't have to do anything. Thing. Like Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, those are all great. But when you have Honey installed on your computer, it's like that all the time because there's always coupon codes out there and you just have to find them. But Honey does that for you. Plus, plus, pro tip here, you can save even more money if you ask Honey to track price drops on your holiday shopping list. So it'll just watch those items. And if anything like drops in price, you'll get a notification and then boom, you can score those savings. Seriously, I don't know why you wouldn't have it. It's it's completely free and all it does is save you money. You don't have to do anything. You're just missing out on, on free money. Plus, not only are you saving money, but you're supporting this show. Thank you. Seriously guys, I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't already use it. So get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash J verse B. One more time, that's joinhoney.com slash J verse B. Link is in the description down below. I'm not gonna say I made things worse for us, but like, they're not better. You look like you just enjoyed a warm hug. I did, oh, okay. I did. It helped, okay. considering what else I was up to. Okay, great. Question eight. What happens to Anna immediately before she meets Hans? How immediately? <laughs> yeah. um, like, do you mean like she's trapped in a castle for 10 years? No. <laughs> that happens that. at basic kind of a kind version of, of immediately. A version of immediately. Yeah. When you're talking decades of time, it's, you know. 
I think Anna could comfortably say like, yeah, immediately before I met Hans, I was trapped in a castle for 10 years. Yeah, I think she could say that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. She trips. Walks into a horse named Citron. Um, I will give that to Ben. His oh, horse no. bumps her into a boat. Oh, uh, where she trips. No, okay, the, so horse, right. the horse basically pushes her into the boat. Oh, oh no. So no. I will give, that, I will give no. that one to Ben. Oh, oh man. I'm at 20. 20 oh, seconds. Okay, okay. okay. This, this is great. The time. So far, I'm, I'm just going to have a great You're just cruising, man. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even worried at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. <clears throat> Okay. Last six questions can't possibly get ridiculously hard. They can. <laughs> that means there's only an available minute left on the board. True. Yeah. We should just miss all of them for fun. <laughs> you can. And now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Dola. What is the name of Matias's love interest? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. That you, you, were, you were really I like, was like, this is the name that came to mind and I don't have any idea, so I'm just gonna write it down. Okay, all right. You do have multiple choice. Ready? You Three, no. two, oh, okay. one. Beatrice. I said Cherie. Not even a little bit. No. It is Halima. Halima? Halima. I didn't even know that was a word. <laughs> we were, we were not gonna guess that. I'm pretty, I went with Beatrice, I think, because it kind of rhymes with the way you said Matthias. Matthias? Matthias. Beatrice. Matthias. Is it Matthias or Matthias? I think it's Matthias. Matthias? Matthias. Maybe it's maybe we're both wrong, Kat. Yeah, I think it's Matthias. Alright, so uh we both get ten more seconds there yeah. Yeah. for the made up right. name we're at 30 of 30 and 20. Halima. Yep. Question number 10. Whose painting does Anna tell to hang in there during the song Do You Want to oh. Build a Snowman? Oh, I got this one, man. Yes. We're looking for a specific historical figure. Yes. Not just okay. the name she says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. She has a title. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully this is right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is correct. Hang in there, Joan. Hang in there, Joan. All right. Question 11. Yeah. What is the first element to malfunction in Arendelle after Elsa awakens the spirits? To malfunction? Yeah, you know, kind of everything starts to go wrong, yeah, yeah, but yeah, what yeah. happens first? <clears throat> okay. All right. Um... This one. You only have four options, so 25% yeah, yeah, chance. Yeah, chance. A, B, C, or D? Yep. A, B, C, or D. Alrighty. Wait, wait, let me think. Oh, okay. okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. The wind. Wind. It is fire. No! What? Yep, all See, the lamps go out like, first. Mm, see, this is like, I feel like the wind happens first, but maybe like it's not malfunctioning. The wind like starts to blow people after the fire goes out. Oh what do we think gosh. blew out the flames? Yeah. They went out themselves Dale. because it was the fire spirit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just sad. I know. I'm Beatrice. sorry. All right, we got, what's up? 40 seconds. Oh dear. And it's start, 30 it, seconds. I'm not gonna lie, Jay. It is starting to get pretty real. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's I'm at 40, Ben. I felt so cocky when we just had 10. It was like, <clears throat> 10's fine. 10's fine. 30's starting to look pretty steep. Yeah, well, I'm past that. That's a, that's a tall order. Yeah. And now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. Right. This question was submitted by Peyton Bow. The Enchanted Forest is inspired by the forest in what other Disney princess movie? This was something I had to look up, if I'm being this honest. Boy. But it is on the Wikipedia page. This is like a, that's on the Wikipedia page, but that's not something you could know from watching the movie. You know? That's why it's a quiz master question. Yeah. Peyton, I thought we were cool. <laughs> okay, I have a guess. Uh, I can only guess. Can okay, only The Enchanted Forest from which other Disney movie? The Enchanted Forest is based on the forest from a different Disney princess movie. Not necessarily a different Enchanted Forest. Okay. <laughs> this feels uh, like maybe the only answer, so. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with it. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Sleeping Beautimus. Said Pocahontas. It's Sleeping Beauty. Yes! Oh, no! That's right. Welcome to 40! Why would it be Sleeping Beauty? That's because she's like Briar Rose off in the forest for a while, learning to dance with the animals and stuff. That was all I could really think of. I was like, it doesn't look any. I thought about Pocahontas because, like, most of the movie takes place in the woods. But, like, the woods in Virginia, here where we live, look very different from the woods in 
frozen. I know. I feel like I was imagining like birch trees, like white. You're just trees. thinking about other patron birch. Uh, maybe I am thinking yeah. about other patron the birch. The patrons are working Could together. Against I'm, I'm you. certainly not thinking about current patron Peyton. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Very generous of you. What animal does Olaf dance with in a gazebo during the song in summer? Mm. What animal does he dance with in a gazebo? Mm -hmm. Is it a this? Is it a no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I know. I think I know. Hey. I think it came back to me. Okay. All right. I think it, I think it also came back to me. You ready? Yeah. One, two. Seagulls. It is seagulls. Yes. Oh boy, I had. Boy, the way you phrased it, because it's like a line of seagulls. And it's so, actually just one. Is it just one? I know, I had to go back and look. I but thought it was like a chorus line. At least when line. he starts. I didn't finish the scene, if I'm being honest. But when he starts, it's just one. Maybe later you know, in the song, it's I think multiple. later in the song it is, but in okay. the gazebo, it's just one seagull. Man. But did you know that that's actually an homage to um, Mary Poppins when they're in the gazebo dancing with the penguins with yes. like the little top hats? No, okay, because oh. I wrote down penguin. That must have yeah. been what I was thinking of. Yeah. Penguin would have been interesting because it would have been a very like wintry animal that he is then placing into like a summery scene. Right. Yeah. But then it was also like, or is it like a summery animal? Animal because he's excited about summer. Exactly. And yeah. it was. Yes. It was indeed. Oh my okay. God. Yeah. For some reason, my mind went to raccoon. So oh. apparently, I've just got Pocahontas <laughs> on the yeah. brain. Yeah. Ben, oh, get no. out of Pocahontas, man. I, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Answer number next Hummingbird. Hummingbird. <laughs> uh, question 14. What was Anna trying to get Elsa, Olaf, and Kristoff to guess during their game of charades in Frozen 2? Not Elsa, Anna. Anna. Because I think Elsa's playing. Elsa's with a with Olaf, who could like, no, Chris, they switch teams, and it's then Kristoff and Olaf, and he's like rearranging himself. Oh, they get like yeah, 10. Yeah. yeah. And then Anna and Elsa can't get Elsa doing ice. Um, Gosh, I, I, I am like, like I can I'm like picture the scene. Their guesses. I'm remembering their guesses. Okay. Um, no, I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember oh, it. No, I'm gonna remember this it. Is, this it's is gonna so, happen, guys. Why do I always trip at the finish line? Uh, always. Is, I'm gonna get it. I'm so close. Anna, Elsa can't guess Anna. None of them can guess what on it. They, they're like all shouting out guesses at this point. I don't know why, but all of them are trying to guess. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. This seems, this feels wrong, but I'm gonna, I'm sticking with it. It's in this vein at the very least. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said a monster. It is a villain. A villain. Monster was one of the oh. things that they guessed wrong. So I'm not because, gonna count that. Because they're guessing stuff like, your ex-boyfriend, Hans, yeah. the worst Hans, mistake you ever mistake. made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, yeah. a villain. And Olaf's like, I think we all pretty much got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is 50 seconds on the clock. We're on question 15. And we're at 50, and we're at 50 seconds. seconds. So, bet, so we're tied right now, which means either way, we're both sort of losers because we're gonna have to do the punishment either way. But someone could still be a little bit more of a winner as of this question. Well, I doubt it. It is time for the fifth quiz master question of the game. Cat looks way too happy. Uh, no, she's she like, y'all so were there pleased. for a minute. This question was submitted by Bellady. By who? Bellady. Bellady. Yep. All right, Bellady. How long, according to Matthias, 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 whatever we think it is. Oh my God, did I watched the mist this keep scene. everyone trapped in the enchanted forest? We are indeed looking for years, months, and days. I watched this scene oh yesterday because we were I making know. the Kristoff video. We were. I think it's at it's least. Like... I think it's this. And then I don't know anything else. This is quite in line with one of our favorite, least favorite questions from Harry Potter about book four. With uh, how much did the twins bet Ludo Bagman? But let's see if you can get this one. <laughs> you said we're looking for years, weeks, and days? Years, months, and days. Okay. And a trick wand. And a yeah. trick <laughs> wand. Oh my gosh. Jay, I'm not. I'm... Okay. Oh boy. The, I I can't believe it. I should have I should have known. I should have known. We should have known. Okay. I'm tempted to give it to whoever's closest, but I don't know. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'll decide yeah. when you flip. Three, two, one. I said thirty-four years, four months, six days. I said thirty-four years, five months, seven days. 
Ben is closer. It oh. is 34 years, five months, and 23 days. Oh my god! Oh, oh. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. We're gonna have Jay do 10 more seconds. We'll have Ben do five more seconds. How's that sound? So Jay has to stay in five more seconds than Ben. So yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But what is that? Does but that mean we tied? tied? It is still tied. You guys did tie. <sighs> One minute of polar plunge coming up. Oh man, I was. We were pretty close. You had the thirty-four years correct. It was yeah, just like the, the the months and weeks. You also wrote down seven days, which is like a weird thing because it's like that'd just be another week. But I guess if you're only counting months and days, you're like yeah, you're not even counting weeks at that point. Yeah, I know. Which seems weird. I know. Yeah. It does. There you go. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be, this is gonna be, um, you know, it's gonna be real fun. It's gonna be real fun. Should we go suit up? Yeah, let's go suit up. Guys, while we're suiting up, we would like to remind you that as it is the end of 2022, it is also the same time that we would like to send out our annual survey so we can have a better idea of what content you would like to see from us. Yeah, it'll only take you about uh, one minute to fill out. It's only like 10 questions long, and it really helps us uh, tailor our content to make the sort of stuff you like, like seeing us punished, I guess. Yes, apparently, apparently. Yeah. Survey says, Link in the description down below. And now we need to give a huge thank you to our quiz masters over on Patreon. Yeah, big shout out to everyone who submitted questions for today's quiz, especially Dola, Bellity, Peyton, Mary, and of course, Birch, like the forest. Like the forest. If yeah. you guys would like to submit a question of your own to try to add to whatever Jay and I's punishment of the day will be, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Brothers and select the quiz masters tier. Oh, there's ice. Oh, this is gonna be. This is good. How does it feel? It's cold. It's cold. I think the water is now officially colder than the the air. For sure. For sure, it is. Yeah. I keep I keep thinking of this hike we just went on, where we had to cross a river and the water was so cold on my feet that I thought I was gonna throw up. So I'm like weirdly worried about my feet more than anything. <laughs> I, 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 I think your feet will be fine. You think plus, so? Plus, plus, okay. I lit a candle. I don't know if you noticed. I, that it was right. a nice touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, think, nice, yeah. I think it'll help. It's keep us warm. Keep us warm for sure. It's like it's like jumping in the pool for swim team. You know. Yeah, it's like eight in the morning in the summer. It'll be a quick it's shot. It's just like and that. Then it'll be over. And then it'll be over. <sighs> ready? Right. Should we get in position? Let's do it. Okay, okay. you ready? All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking. I'm not ready. All right. Three, three two, two, one, go. go. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, three seconds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, it's my feet. It's my feet for sure. The feet is the worst part. Oh, you put your arms in. Oh. I can't breathe. breathe through it, right? There's oh my gosh. Really... Try oh that your gosh. Mind, you think? <laughs> it is so painful. Uh, oh my God. You're doing great, guys. You're doing great. Oh. I kept Half thinking it was going to be hard. All right. I kept... Feet! We're oh, 30 I was so bad on the feet. I'm so glad I have five seconds less than you. <laughs> I, this is, is so worse, bad. This is, is worse, worse than, than the hot wings. wings. It's worse than the hot wings. Worse than the hot wings. Why is it so ago. cold? <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ten, Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <sighs> oh my gosh. Someone has a towel, right? Oh my I gosh. You, I got you. Okay. All right, Ben. Three, two, two. One. Ben, you hey, got it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Hey, AJ, you're good. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's miserable. Oh my gosh, I can't feel You're my legs. Red. I'm oh. shaking. It's oh. so bad. Oh. Thanks for liking and watching. If you want to see the origins of Kristoff's parents, click right there. Otherwise, until next time. Bye. Bye.